we're continuing our drive to the seashore. So we're heading east towards the ocean and uh, towards Route 1 A, which heads right up the coast. So here's Rye, New Hampshire. As you can see, we're just now starting to get into spring temperatures and spring weather. I'm hoping that you can see some of these older farm walls that have been built. I'm doing a series of video blogs and heading over to the ocean. So we're going to be driving here in just a few minutes along the rocky coastline of New Hampshire. The area that I'm in gets quite poor cell reception. So if I lose, lose the reception, I will uh, apologize in advance. So, several people have been contacting me about what it's like to live in New Hampshire. And one of the things that I really love about it is that it has so many different environments that are available within an hour's drive. So, the ocean, obviously, and then... Um, mountains are close by, great hiking, boating, super beautiful lakes, the Appalachian Trail, and um, let's see if this, they say there's no outlet here. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys down this way anyway. outcropping. These are beautiful homes. I've done some landscaping out in this area before and I'll tell you there's nothing like doing a landscaping job right on the beach or overlooking the ocean. <laughs> it's like awesome. It doesn't always happen that way that's for sure. So anyway so I will turn around here, but I just wanted to show you this outcropping of homes that overlook the ocean here. And these are all obviously private residences. A very extraordinary place to live, no doubt. So, let me just turn around here so that you may be able to see from the other side here. The camera is really picking up the scenic nature of this. These are these large seawalls, of course, to protect the shore and the homes from tides and especially the strong storms that come in. I 
know somebody's going to ask me how much these homes are worth. Many of these homes start at two to three million and then go up from there. So now we're going to go ahead and head north up to um, Portsmouth. This is a bicyclist's motorcycle paradise. So in the summer it can become quite dense with a lot of people who are coming to enjoy the beaches. But this time of year it's still somewhat vacant. This is Probably our third nice day of the spring. And here's Rye Harbor. Beautiful. Boats are still wrapped, obviously. Have not yet been put out into the water for this, this season. And we'll just, we're just heading up the back way up to Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Just doing an Easter road tour. So welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm sort of chit chatting about this area on this beautiful Easter Sunday. So now we're just passing Rye Harbor State Park. surprisingly a number of surfers that come and also a lot of people come down from Canada in the summer to enjoy the seascape here. So unfortunately, this is a pretty intense seawall, isn't it? So it's hard to see the ocean, but we'll get up over the top of it here shortly. So I'm just heading, doing a quick experiment today on doing video tours with my vehicle of New Hampshire and heading into southern Maine, giving everyone just some eyes on a different part of the world. This is also, if you're local to the area, this is just an exquisite drive. If you're ever out in the um, New Hampshire area, so we'll be crossing over into Maine shortly. I'm going to go up through Portsmouth. I'm taking the back road. So right now I'm on Ocean Boulevard. And these are these exquisite multi-million dollar homes that have this incredible overlook, these views. But some of them are also rentable for a week or a few days, Airbnbs, you can stay uh, with large groups of people. And there's super easy access to the sandy beaches up here as well. So if you are in the area or you're visiting the area, super nice area to come to and get acquainted with New Hampshire. Oops. Pedestrian crossing. 
they get priority. So I was just listening earlier to um, a new musician I was introduced to, Lee Biddle. So I'm not going to play a full track of his music, but I am going to just uh, put on this track as we drive through by and come up to... sound and his um, great roots. So sometimes I wake in the morning. But when I think of you, boy, I forget about the rest. Son, I can tell you one thing. With your mom, you're in loving hands. Dad, he may be working, but I'm a thinking about my man. And I want you to know you're my light in the darkest sky. You're the star that guides me home. You're the twinkle in my eye. Share with the world your greatness. Shine like the fullest moon. In my mind and by your side, singing songs. So we're just coming up into Portsmouth, New Hampshire, crossing over into Maine. When I hold you in my arms, son, boy, you feel so small. The, uh, radio. How can something so tiny bring such a great joy to us all? When I get home tonight, I know just what I'll do. I'll pick me up my guitar and sing a song with you. And I want you to know. Sky. You're the star that guides me home. You're the twinkle in my eyes. Share with the world your greatness. Shine like the fullest moon. In my mind and by your side, singing songs with you. Oh, that's great. So happy to have met Lee yesterday at my new studio. And uh, he and his wife just had a brand new baby. And um, although I feel like I'm 25, I also just had a baby added to our family. And so I'm a proud grandma. All right, so we're just um, doing a video tour. I'd love your feedback. I'll be heading cross country here in about three weeks or so. 
So I'm going to experiment with what people like on this page. I'd love for you to let me know what works for you guys, what doesn't. I'll be talking mostly about technology and industry as I cross the country. I've got several different meetings and visits set up. So it'll be a combination of live video with interviews and road trips. So this is my inaugural Easter Day experiment. We're experimenting with a new idea for me. I know a lot of people are doing these. Um, up here in New Hampshire, we're just now getting into spring. Coming down into downtown Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So these beautiful winding roads are heavenly to me. I just, all seasons of the year, I really enjoy that mischief of exploring. It feels like you never know what you're going to find. It, it's super easy to get lost. Super, super easy. I'm going to do a shout out to my friend John Bouchard. See if he would DJ for me on this, on these tours, maybe even be my right hand person, managing the phone, having a dialogue, and so on. So once, I'm just going to drive up to the, um, to the bridge. So once we cross over to the bridge, that will take us into Maine. Then I'm going to close down the video for the time being. And uh, it's been nice though, enjoyable. can kind of get a sense for what the different neighborhoods are like. There's a lot of variation, a lot of new building going on. It's like anywhere else. Some people like the building that's happening and of course for taxes and revenue it's great. For some people who have lived here for multiple generations, it's stressful because it requires, um, you know, increased taxes on property that maybe they've, they've owned um, it can become, become difficult to handle an increase or an up upping taxes, of course. You'll see that some of the trees are wrapped in burlap. If you're not from this area, it's obviously just a way to protect evergreens from getting wind burn or freeze. Wind, wind and cold freeze on their evergreen leaves. So some shrubs that are landscaping type shrubs get wrapped or alternately they'll build uh, 
wooden tents around, or A-frames over the top of some shrubs so that the snow doesn't deform or break. Uh, <laughs> a lot of snow up here. So it's just, even though it's still brown here, all of us are very excited just not to have snow and ice on the ground at the moment. So here we are in Portsmouth, and I'm going to let these runners go ahead and oh, run and um, take her. So established in 1623. right through the center of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, which is a very small, kind of European tight streets area, and then we'll open up as we cross over the big, large bridge that goes over the, uh, the port. So right now, just coming into Middle Street. There is a, like a lot of places, a burgeoning homeless population. And like every town and city who has those issues, they're trying to figure out positive ways to, to work with people who have not been able to find housing or, or work. So this is a very large cemetery goes back to the 1600s. And I'm entering Portsmouth from the south. So you can see this extensive hilly cemetery. We're just heading up to Middle Street. We'll be crossing over the bridge into Maine. Just currently coming into southern Portsmouth. And you can get an idea of what the housing is like here. This is fairly traditional. Like I said, I've had several people who have been asking me about what it's like to live in New Hampshire. So partly this is a video for them as well, so I'll invite them to, to view this video, but also for the enjoyment and the interaction, but also some practice what it's like to do a video blog, otherwise known as a blog, in this case a travel vlog. And 
now we're just coming down into more of the commercial area. So this is a mixture of homes and businesses down in Portsmouth. There's the library book and bar that we're, I'm going to turn left of Pleasant. So I think we'll catch the front side of the library book and bar, but oh, the road is closed. So not, not going to go by there at the moment. Anyhow, we've got the back side of it. And you can see there's several people out today enjoying the weather. And, um, getting into some more of the historic homes of Portsmouth. We're going to go by the not-so-modern laundromat. Oops, I can't go that way. There's so many one-way streets. <laughs> All right, let's try it this way. And there's the Strawberry Bank Museum. There's nobody behind me, so... for Just to let you know that the Strawberry Bank Museum is place that um, does reconstruction hist you know, uh, history and I'm going to see if it's possible to drive around the block here and show you guys that. So let's see if I can do that. Um, make it, looks like, without getting caught. So this is what's called Strawberry Bank, and it's a series of homes that have been reconstructed for, oh yeah, it's called Living History. So they have Living History exhibits here. season and just go over the bridge and then I'll end my podcast vlog video there. Between the construction and the one-way streets it looks like I need to I'll turn around one more time. So there's also a ferry here, you'll see that sign, it's the Isle of Shoals Ferry, it's just a one day trip to um, taking some detours to show you guys a little more, and then here's the, the large drawbridge that we'll be going over so you can see that I hope that this is enjoyable and again I'm open to your feedback love to hear what you guys would love to see in future 
live feeds. I'm on my way across country in about three weeks. I'll be heading um, across country with my live video and, and I'll have my sea turtle sculpture in tow and we will be talking about plastics as I cross country. Okay, so now we're going to cross out of Portsmouth, I mean out of uh, New Hampshire, and cross over into southern Maine. Because there's not much traffic, I'm just going to take my time, slow down a little, let you guys really get a view. see the icon of the big lobster at the bar Warrens. Okay, there we are. So thank you everyone for joining in with me today. And um, I hope you have a really happy Easter. So this brings us into Kittery, and uh, I'm going to jump on the interstate. All right, enjoy your days.